guys welcome back to AT Beauty um, today I have for you a kind of muted slash really not muted but just a really pretty soft Valentine's Day look I did a little bit of an ombre lip it didn't really stick too much though so if you're recreating this look I would definitely um, encourage a little bit more of your lighter color and then just like lightly blotting that and then to help that stick a little bit you could take a little bit of um, toilet paper or paper towel or something blot your lips and then you can set it a little bit with some powder so um, those are some tricks that you guys can use yeah so if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep watching and uh, I hope you guys have a really really good happy Valentine's so I already have my face and my brows done I will list um, some of the links below that I have for tutorials on brow and um, just kind of face but um, but yeah, so I took my sponge and I took a little bit of excess product from my concealer and so I'm kind of um, prepping my lids for a little bit of shadow and I've been using the NYX Merci Beaucoup um, palette here and I just use this cream shade to um, prep my lids so it's kind of priming them for the rest of the shadow. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. It really helps and um, saves the blending process later so I'm just going to take this fluffy goat hair brush to build a little bit of a shadow in my crease and I'm going to be using my MAC warm neutral palette and I'm going to be going in with saddle And then I'm going to be going in with this color here, and I believe that is Divine Decadence. It has like a little bit of bronze flex in it. But I'm just going to take this on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to take this goat hair brush and just kind of work it, make sure it's all blended. I don't want any weird lines going on. And next I'm going to take this shimmer shade here and I believe, I think this is Honey Lust. I'm not positive on that. I'm going to list it down below for you guys. Uh, a flat brush here and I'm just going to take the Fix Plus and spray a little bit of that on there because I really want this product to be really metallic um, and as shimmery as possible. And I'm going to start from the inner corner and I'm going to work my way to the center of the lid. And I'm going to do a wing liner using my Maybelline Studio Gel Liner. And I am going to take a little bit of concealer on this one just because the line is a little bit jagged and I really want it to be clean. You know what I'm saying? Gonna go ahead and just put my um, mascara on my top lid here. For my inner corner highlight, um, I am going to be using the Too Faced Natural, or is it neutral? Oh yeah, it's the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. So this is um, Silk Teddy, and it's just a really, really pretty, almost pinky highlight shade. Obviously I've hit pan on it because I love it so much. Um, but I'm just going to pop this right here in the inner corner. Also on the highest point of my arch. And I'm going to take that shader brush that we were using earlier and just kind of blend it in a little bit so it's not super harsh. And I'm also going to use that Silk Teddy color as my actual highlight. And I'm going to do it first before I do anything else. So I'm going to go in here and just create a really, really intense highlight. So now I'm going to take a little bit here, run it down the center of my nose, and I'm going to take a little bit on the cupid's bow. Next is contouring. So I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Light to Medium Contour Palette with these two shades. Um, they are definitely my go-tos. And I'm going to do a little bit of carving here to narrow my face a little bit, create a little bit of a false shadow, and then warm up the forehead to balance the color out a little bit. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Rose Glow. Last but not least is my lips, and 
are my lips and I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Lip Perfection Lip Pencil in Passion and it's number 215. And I am doing a little bit of overlining because with these darker colors, they can really make your lips look a lot smaller than um, maybe what you're looking for. So I overlined just a tad. Okay, I'm going to take my NARS Lip Pencil in Cruella. So it's going to change the color a bit really going to darken it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I'm going to put it on the very center of my lips. And we are going to create an ombre effect. I'm going to take this little precision brush and just make sure I clean up those lines. Um, like I said, this was just a simple Valentine's Day look with a little bit of pop um, on the lips. So I will talk to you guys very, very soon. And I think I'm going to be doing a little more of an intense Valentine's Day look for those drama types. You know what I'm saying? So ta-ta for now.